Hello, I'm Scott Clover, and you're listening to the Intuitive Energy Podcast. This podcast series is about intuition, healing, and creating new energetic patterns that benefit you in your daily life. In my private practice, I help people heal from a diverse range of issues, including self-acceptance, trauma release, managing anxiety, emboldening self-worth, and creative expression. In this endearing interview, I get the pleasure of talking with seven-year-old Lizette from Amazing Jobs. We discuss why I enjoy being an intuitive energy healer, the importance of telling the truth to yourself, and how intuition works and the benefits to trusting and embracing it. Give it a listen. It'll make you smile. Hi, it's me, Lizette, and I'm here on Amazing Jobs with Scott Clover. So, Scott, what's your job? I'm an intuitive energy healer. What is intuitive? Okay, so I use my intuition to help guide people to feel better. Oh, can you talk about intuition? And does everybody have it? Yes, everyone has several forms of intuition. The two basic forms that I talk about primarily is the intuition about how we feel in our bodies. So we even use the words like, oh, I have a gut feeling about that, or I'm sick to my stomach about what's happening. And that means your, your instincts, your sort of mammalian, like our animal instincts, they get channeled sometimes through our body. And we feel those instincts, and sometimes those instincts confuse us. And we have to make sort of solutions in our brains. We have to make up stories to feel better about how our intuition may be going against what we see in our society or the way we grow up. Oh, do you like this job? I do like this job. Yeah, a lot. Why do you like it? I like this job because I get to help people. And I get people that come to see me that want to feel better. And so when we work together, they feel better afterwards. So that makes me feel good. Oh, is there anything you don't like in this job? I would say sometimes when I access my intuition, I have to concentrate really hard. And I like to do that all at one time in the day, meaning I would like to stay in my intuition mode and then finish my work. But sometimes I see people on and off all over the day. So sometimes I have to be really intuitive and then I turn it off so I don't get headaches or something. And then I have to turn it back on again. But it's okay, actually. Do you help people express their feelings? I would say I help people get in touch with what creates their feelings. And sometimes what creates their feelings makes them feel bad. So what I do is I help them observe what makes them feel bad. And once we observe what makes them feel bad, it starts to feel better. An example is sometimes things happen to us when we're younger. And those things that happen to us when we're younger create issues for us as we get older. And sometimes as we get older, we forget what what happened that made us feel bad. So then you come and see somebody like me who has intuition. And I sort of read the energy in, in the universe. I read the energy in your body. And we figure out what made somebody feel bad when they were young that's causing them to still feel bad when they're older. And once we get to figure out what that is using intuition, the person generally starts to feel better. Well, did you want to do this job when you were littler? I never knew that this was a job when I was littler. When I was your age, for example, I was very intuitive, as most kids tend to be quite intuitive. But generally, after around the age of 11 or 12, most children's intuition sort of goes to the wayside and society doesn't accept it as much. So most children stop using theirs around 10 or 11. So one of the things I also like about my job is to remind adults, people my age, that they can go back and access their childhood imagination. And that childhood imagination can help them actually feel better because it's a different form of reality. Is this job hard? I would say there are people like me who are more inclined to do this job. So it would be, it would be easier for someone like me because I have a, a certain ability that makes this job easier. Certain people wouldn't be able to technically do my job because they don't have the same skill set. Just as like, I'm not an artist because I don't know how to draw. Oh, so it depends on who you are. So you can do this job? I would say so. I was sort of, I think, put on the planet to do what I am right now. I have a certain skill set that I've honed over the years that allows other people to feel better. So yeah, I, I do this job because I like it, and I do this job because I know I'm good at it, and I've trained hard, and I know that people get something out of it because they tell me. Do you think this job is an amazing job? Do I think this job is an amazing job? 
I've been told that what I do is amazing. And some days I wonder when I look back on the day that I've had and certain intuitive hits that come into the session or the way people start to realize things that had been buried inside of them for 30 years and we come up with that together, that's pretty amazing. So yeah, I'd say I'm, I'm also very fortunate to be able to do this job and to take the skill set that I was born with and utilize it in a way to help people. So yeah, I get to have fun at my job and I get to help people. And it's not always easy. Sometimes people have some bad things that have happened to them and they really need help. And I'm there to help them support that. But other times, people just want to get to a better place in their life. And they come to see me and we knock down barriers and they sort of jump or leapfrog into their future smiling and skipping along. And that's pretty amazing too. So yeah, I'd say all in all, I have a pretty amazing job. Oh, how long can you do this job? Is there a stop limit of your intuition? No, I think intuition is boundless. And I think once people tune into their intuition, it only gets bigger and better. Sometimes when you open up your intuition, it can be a little scary because it's new and it's a lot of information coming in once you look at it. But once you get the handle on it, I think it's a really useful skill to have for anybody, whether you use it for work or you just use it in your daily life. So intuition, once you access it, I believe it stays with you because it gives back to you. And if you lean into the process, it's going to help guide you in a great way in your life. So I'm going to use intuition through the rest of my life. But, you know, in terms of helping people, my job isn't very physically active. So I'm sure I can do my job up into my 70s. Oh, is there one of the things that you read that was scary for you to read? Like when you read someone's intuition, it was scary for you? So I use my intuition to read other people's energies. And sometimes, as I said, people have some not nice things that happen to them. It doesn't scare me because it's almost like me watching a movie, but it's their movie. So it may have been scary for them when it happened. But rarely do I get frightened. Like if I have to talk to a ghost or somebody that's passed away and I speak to them, I don't find that scary because mostly they're quite benevolent or they're quite nice for the most part. So every once in a while, somebody that's passed away is feisty or kind of a trickster or actually, you know, not very nice. But I would say all in all, even if I speak to somebody who's passed on and that helps the person that's alive, that's sitting with me for healing... It's not a scary process. It may be scary for the person I'm with, but for me, I'm used to it because I've been doing it a long time. What is um, one of the things that happens to most of the people that is scary for them? I think looking at the, your truth and realizing you act the way you act and certain actions aren't the way you feel inside that can be scary for people to realize that they're not living what we call authentically or they're not living as truthful to their own principles as possible because the other factors are in their life. And when people start doing this work, they confront that. They're confronted with the idea that, am I a good person? Am I telling the truth to not only other people, but am I telling the truth to myself? And when sometimes people realize they're not telling themselves the truth, that can be quite scary. But when they realize it and they lean into the truth on themselves, I tend to notice their lives get better all around, not just for them, but the people that they interact with in their life. Is there anything else you would like to tell our public? I would say trust your intuition. It's real. It can help guide you. It can help keep you safe. But it can also help you have more fun in your life because if you access your own intuition, as I said, you'll be more truthful with who you are. And then you're going to realize, what do you really like to do? What gives back to your soul? And maybe you can find your own amazing job. Thank you, Lizette on Amazing Jobs with Scott Clover. You've been listening to the Intuitive Energy Podcast with me, Scott Clover. Thanks to Corey Tutt for the music you're listening to. In my private practice, I encourage people to heal what holds you back and feel better in your body. If you need more help with that process, I'm available for healing sessions by phone internationally. Visit scottclover.com for more information. Be well, and thanks for listening. This podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and solely as a self-help tool for your own use. I'm not providing medical, psychological, or nutrition therapy advice. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat any health problems or illnesses without consulting your own medical practitioner. Always seek the advice of your own medical practitioner and or mental health provider about your specific health situation. For my full disclaimer, please go to scottclover.com disclaimer.